video gonna be about the Kimbe Matumbo. Hey, you know him back in the day, center for Atlanta Hawks amongst various teams, whether they were seven sixes, and guy would wave his finger and he played some incredible defense. I mean, he was a prominent player for his time. Did the defense big time. He came out and said that he thinks nineties basketball um, was was better than today, and. Um, my thoughts on this is uh, he right. Um, but two things can be true at the same time. I love watching someone like Steph Curry come along because I think her changed the course of basketball. And I got to give the man his due. Golden State's a fun team to watch. And that's incredible there. And, of course, you're going to acknowledge LeBron James. You're going to acknowledge uh, Kevin Durant. You know, you're going to acknowledge Giannis and Tupavo. And you're going to acknowledge... Uh, Joel Embiid and Jokic, Denver. Uh, there's, you know, Kawhi Leonard. There's going to be guys that you're going to acknowledge and give them they do, you know, respect. However, with the 90s basketball, everybody had a play, had a role, had a part, had a theme. There wasn't this much iso ball. There wasn't this much, you can't touch nobody, you can't do nothing. And, um, you know, I mean, if you ask me personally, 80s basketball will always be the best. Because they did it all. And you had great teams. And you had great players. Head coaches. You had a standard. The 90s, the early part, I will say. And then it became more of a star, more so solo thing. And then, you know, because you didn't have as many teams, you know. And you still don't. So that's what is a carryover. But the early part of the 90s, you still had some interesting scenarios and some maybes and some interesting situations, you know, but they got to play roles, you know, like I think about John Starks in the nineties, he became a big for the Knicks hitting threes and stuff. And they went to him a lot, but they had Patrick Ewens too. You know, they still had Derek Harper. They still had pieces, you know, it ain't like today where if John Starks played today for the Knicks, oh, Lord, he probably shoot the ball like 50 times. I mean, come on now. So those situations, um, it's changed drastically. The centers are obsolete. There really are no more position players. Defense is almost frowned upon. Uh, uh, if you sneeze on near somebody, you're going to get a flagrant too. Uh, and it's a soft, it's, it's, uh, this NBA today is as soft as melted ice cream and 100 degree weather with humidity at 120. It is tissue paper soft. And this is what Adam Silver wants. They want this kind of NBA pushing the Euro agenda, the Euro stepping, the Euro high fiving. And they want this kind of basketball that you see. It's an agenda base. It's got nothing to do when they say who's the best. It's got to do with agenda because it's a script. And I'm not saying that what you see ain't real because there's greatness that's out there. However, the overall complexity and the overall dexterity of what's going on for basketball today, that ain't even harder the same game I saw 10 years ago, let alone in the 90s. And it's not about, well, that this athleticism. Yeah, guys are more athletic and all that, but they don't play fundamental ball. Guys can't even shoot a mid-range shot. Everybody won't be Steph. Everybody can't be Steph or Clay Thompson. Everybody ain't blessed with all that range. Sometimes fundamentals play a big part, you know, and there's a big difference. There are certain teams that played back then that they came today. They'd be compelling, but because of the rules, the way they got things done, they changed the game because I still say 30 years ago when the Dream Team annihilated the world, this David Stern had this brainstorm, like, I feel sorry for them. Let's go get that bag. And that's what you got. So Dikembe ain't wrong. But if you say the truth and you play, they're either going to say that you're an old-timer or they're going to say you're hating or you're going to get white ball and never get in the hall or get invited because the truth is this is what the powers of be want. It's like that with any form of entertainment. Entertainment. The mint part is what's cemented at the end. Notice how the mint comes at the end. Mm -hmm. That's the documents. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Do you agree with the Kimbe Matumbo that the NBA was better back in the 90s? Do you think it's better today? Where do you come down? I think you've always had great players through time, but we're talking teams, balance, situations, and everybody got a chance and has to play 
five positions is clearly the 90s. Because today, cats are non-descriptive. You get a big old guy that's seven plus foot today, if he can't shoot a 16, 20 foot outside shot, he might not get much roll. And that's a crying shame. I'm out.